Quite interesting. So you needed three components. So you needed some way to get Yuan on and off the ledger. And there was a company in China that basically what they did is effectively they issued a stable coin. So you would give them Yuan and they would issue a digital asset and vice versa. The XRP ledger has a built-in um, decentralized exchange. So that decentralized exchange became the marketplace. Well, I think the SEC has uh, lost focus of their motion, uh, their mission, I should say. Uh, they're, they're there to protect investors, and what they're doing is the opposite. Sure. Well, uh, I got uh, some recognition uh, about in April of this year when I filed a lawsuit against James, uh, Jay Clayton and Bill Henman personally for going outside the scope of what they were supposed to be doing at the SEC and you know, screwing over the XRP network users. Ripple is going to win this case. You take the red coin, you stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. If you got a bag, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news, no breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra foolishness. Shout out to the latest sub, Santiago in the building. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in. Go ahead, throw on those pilot shades and buckle up because the future's extra, extra bright. Let's go full speed full throttle into the cryptoverse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today right under 1 trillion, down about 2% in the past 24 hours. We got XRP in the number seven spot, about 32 cents, down about a percent in the past 24. We got Bitcoin right under 20K, ETH right around 1,500. We have Stellar XLM in the number 30 spot, right around 10 cents, down about one and a half percent in the past 24. Taking a look at the NFT amendment vote here, we got 27 out of 34 votes and we got 30 yays and four nays currently at 88%. Watch out for NFTs right around the corner. James Rule XRP, nothing new. 1 billion XRP released from escrow. The XRP ledger enforced by consensus control the release of XRP. This provides an upper limit on the amount of new XRP that can be brought into circulation. And we got September 1st. Some more XRP unlocked. Sparkle says let's kick off September with an update. A few weeks ago, Sparkles hit a milestone of over 50 million Songbird traded. Now over 57 million Songbird, 2.5 million in USD in trading volume. Thank you to this amazing community supporting and building on Flare Networks. We are still early. More updates soon. You can pay with XRP at the airport in Mongolia. Mongolia knows XRP is the future. Crypto and Cowboy Joe Katz, they set up their own netting system directly on the ledger with nobody managing or running it. You need an exchange to do that, right? Joe Katz. The XRP ledger has a built-in decentralized exchange so that the decentralized exchange became the marketplace. Grosser, but give me like a success story or two of on the ground of someone who's deciding to, you know, net with XRP. Well, in many cases, we don't know because these ecosystems are, com are completely open. Um, one of my favorite stories was in the very, very early days of the XRP ledger. It didn't involve Ripple, the company at all. It was completely organic. Um, somebody opened a gateway, which is essentially a company that issues a stable coin in Chinese uh, yuan. And there were remittance flows just immediately. There were flows in both directions. I think part of it might have been capital controls. People who really wanted to get money out of China were counterflows to the remittance flows. And they just found each other. Um, and all of the liquidity was gone immediately, like in a couple of hours. And the liquidity just increased. And it ramped up to about $8 million a day. Um, since then, that's disappeared. So I don't know if it's because the Chinese government cracked down or just uh, exhaustion. But there was a compl uh, and I think also part of the sort of on ledger liquidity was kind of not popular uh, today like it was back then. This was kind of during the crypto boom. But it's just completely organically people who wanted to move money into China found people who wanted to move money out of China and they set up their own like netting system directly on the ledger with nobody managing or running it. But you need an exchange to do that, right? Well, in this case, what you what you it was quite interesting. So you needed three components. So you needed some way to get you on on and off the ledger. And there was a company in China that basically what they did is effectively they issued a stable coin. So you would give them you on and they would issue a digital asset and vice versa. The XRP ledger has a built in um, decentralized exchange. So that decentralized exchange became the marketplace. If you hate XRP, that's your problem. Bull diep. Because the ledger will continue to close new blocks every four seconds. Thousands of independent nodes around the world will continue to validate the ledger. The supporters will continue to hold, use, and trade XRP. Also, XRP works right now. Nobody can stop it. I could send you some XRP. All you got to do is give me your address and no one can stop it. John Deaton, like these experienced lawyers said, while things have happened in the Ripple XRP case, ask yourself, why would the SEC Gov ask the judge to revoke our Mika status and throw me off the case? Because I said the SEC was an innovation-killing cesspool of corruption. Really? 
SEC Roundup episode 31, John Deaton on the SEC versus Ripple case. So John, let's switch over to you and, and talk a little bit about your involvement. So when you go on the SEC website, uh, you'll see the uh, motto that the SEC is the investor's advocate. Uh, well, you represent investors in the Ripple case, XRP token holders. What do you think? Uh, how's the SEC doing as, as an investor advocate? Well, I think the SEC has uh, lost focus of their motion, uh, their mission, I should say. Uh, they're, they're there to protect investors. And what they're doing is the opposite, because I believe that the SEC and Gary Gensler are engaged in this jurisdictional land grab, if you will, of the cryptocurrency market. And these XRP holders are caught in the crosshairs of that you know, jurisdictional grab. Uh, not only have um, they fought us as amicus, and, and you guys, you know, you you know this amicus curi very well. We could be ignored. Instead, they have objected to our participation. They filed a motion to throw me off the case because I've tweeted a couple mean tweets about them and things of that nature. So, I just think they've lost their complete focus on what they're there to do. Anders X, with all the talks of Fed now, David Schwartz mentioned the benefits of domestic real-time payments in a speech. XRP would bridge different real-time payment systems. Crypto Eddie says, line 79, the XRP ledger can handle all the world's payment, but XRP can be the hub or backbone that provides fast international settlement peace. It won't solve the last mile problem, but it will help. Ready for when FedNow goes from domestic to international. The biggest obstacle is often the very last hop, getting the funds to the payment recipient through the domestic payment system. FedNow, Riz XRP, Ripple wins. Hodl that odl. Keep the eye on the prize. Know what you hold. You know, kind of tell us uh, what you got going on and how you're trying to help the people against uh, some of these large government entities here? Sure. Well, uh, I got uh, some recognition uh, about in April of this year when I filed a lawsuit against James, uh, Jay Clayton and Bill Henman personally for going outside the scope of what they were supposed to be doing at the SEC and you know, screwing over the XRP network users. That case is withdrawn. It is um, ready to go, though. So if anybody's interested in that, you go to xrplawsuits.com xrplawsuits.com and you can sign up if you're interested. Uh, it's a pinned tweet under my Twitter handle at Freddie Riz with a Y. And uh, what I kind of wanted to give everybody an update on, a couple things with the XRP lawsuit and then a couple really interesting things. The uh, current status of the whole Ripple SEC thing, you know, not too much has been happening, at least that we know about. A lot of it's happening behind uh, sealing, sealed motions. And the overall good news, bad news, you know, that I want to, a good news sandwich that I want to give everybody is Ripple is going to win this case. I've gone through all the discovery. I've done a deep dive, you know, on the merits. Ripple is going to win. Load up while you still have some time. We're coming for that top prize. We got the evidence. Get those jumpsuits and get those gel cells ready. We got a couple weird tweets from David Schwartz. Let me know what you guys think down below. For many years, one lowly antenna sat on top of a tall roof. It received, it transmitted day in and day out. It did its job. We also got a man gets sent to jail one night after lights out. Someone yells 17 and everyone laughs. Someone else yells out 41 and everyone laughs. The new guy has no idea what's going on. BPM, the September airdrop window is open. The snapshot date will be selected today. It could be at any time this month. It could be even today. A 20% airdrop, which will follow the snapshot. The airdrop will be split into two drops within seven days of each other. Today, I've demanded answers from Ticketmaster on the Monopoly role in the Springsteen tour fiasco, where fans were charged upwards of 5,000 for seats. James Rule XRP says BPM wallets, BPM revelers are solving the problems of ticket touting and price gouging. There will be no secondary market price increase in the BPM ecosystem. All ticket holders will sell slash transfer tickets at a maximum or face value. More to come. BPM for the win. Blockchain backer won the bottom end for Bitcoin. There are several technical indicators and measurements that suggest it could be. First, we're about to have the 50-week moving average cross the 100-week moving average. Each time this occurred, the bottom was already in. Crypto Bull 2020 says XRP has been in a bear market since January 4th, 2018. Taking a look at XRP here, the previous bull run, 2017, 2018, from the bottom here to the top. 70,000% gains, XRP taking home the best performing asset of this bull run. Currently, with the SEC manipulation and FUD, we're only able to get up to right under 1,500% for XRP. 
which would probably confirm that XRP has been in the bear market since we hit this top up here because they know what comes next and they can't stop it. All roads lead to the bridge. Also, if you look back here, when XRP was first dropped in, XRP's birth pump, 2,000%. We couldn't even top that in this bull run. The SEC wants those bags and they want you out. Also, taking a look here at the Bitcoin halving clock, the next halving date coming up. March 19th of 2024, usually after the Bitcoin halving cycle is when things start to ramp up, but we'll see what happens. We could be in a new cycle. US dollar index, DXY breaking out. This is what higher highs and higher lows look like, yet people will continue to say that the dollar is dead. Couldn't be me. Also top five altcoins in September, XRP. That we're faced with this base that we've been forming here at about 28 cents. What you want to look at in the XRP is it's not likely we're going to break this trend line. We have our momentum heading down. We're going to need that to shift back up. We're going to need to battle this green line and we're going to need to stay above here. But XRP could have some turmoil in September, especially if it breaks this level right here. So watch this level, this 29 cents like a hawk. If we break that, it's highly probable we're going to fall right to 15. All right. So in the meantime, you pay attention to this trend line here and our momentum. XRP going lower. Pomp Podcast, I'm not a believer. We go to the new lows. The risk asset market has bottom. Signaling a full recession. And we'll get to the tipping point where bond yields start to fall. It'll start affecting asset markets. So I'm not a believer we go to new lows. I've done surveys after survey and seen all the surveys on Twitter. 70% of all respondents in crypto and macro think equities go to new lows. Now, if that is the case, then most people are positioned for it. So therefore, the path of pain is the opposite. And I think the markets price that in. So I think there's no certainties in this world. I can be wrong. But my view, the balance of probabilities are for me, the uh, risk asset market, equities, crypto have bottomed. We are having a retest. And as the economic data shifts and bond yields come down, that'll drive that further. And it'll be a further hated rally because nobody will understand. We're going into recession. Why are equities going up? Well, because they already priced the recession. It's their job to be forward-looking indicators. So that's kind of the big picture framework. Have we hit the bottom where we have a September to remember or a September to load up on those bags? JD says, look like we're going to fall, fall off a cliff very hard again. We need to have that nice green candle or we may head to my buy zones, which are pretty low. I'm ready either way. Bank of America says crypto buying momentum fades as investors weigh bear market bounce, recession risk, the chance of more hawkish Federal Reserve and the likelihood of interest rates Staying higher for longer, haven't been fully priced into risky assets, the bank said. So let me know down below what you think. Will we have a September to remember or will Gary Gensler in the crooks continue to drop the markets and continue to give us more opportunity to add to those generational wealth bags? Because the longer it takes, the more we get and the higher we climb on that XRP ridge list. Where will you be when that rocket takes flight. I am the XRP Bagman, the Moon Commander, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more Moon O'Clock News. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Remember to sell the FUD, buy up that bag, XRP. and don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop an elbow on that like button. And don't forget to spread that liquid love. And we'll catch you up here on the mothership for the boom party. BYOB. Peace out, Crypto Ghost. We been peeping, but we eating. 60K strong, rockets blast off like a bomb. Way beyond, and it's on. I say yes. Get the jail cells ready. Get the jail cells ready. Get the jail cells ready. Melt the way the key. Yes. Get the jail cells ready. Get the jail cells ready.